testing, testing. Let me know if everybody can hear me. And see the screen. <laughs> Excuse me. Terrific. Welcome, everyone. Hope everybody had a great trading day. We did it the swoosh. Can everyone see the slide? See the arrow? <coughs> see my phone number? In huge, <laughs> huge numbers. <coughs> Thank you, Kathy. Sorry, I'm joking. I'm trying to get some water in here. I'm losing my voice. Talking too much everywhere. Welcome, everyone. We're going to learn about how you can make money today trading one strategy. And if you have questions, you can call me. 929-3200-GAP. Okay? So if you are thinking about trading and you want to do it and you don't know where to start, let me tell you something. Trading the open between 9.30 and 10 is the best time to trade. Okay? And if you have any questions as we go along, just type it in the room. Okay? But you can make money very fast. And we did today. We shorted Boeing today and we were in and out very quickly, way before 10 o'clock. But actually, in an ideal world, I'm in and out of trades in five minutes, six minutes, 10 minutes. So if you're doing something else and you want to transition from a job doing whatever you're doing into a full-time trader, this is nice because you can do it quickly and be in and out in the morning. And if you have a passion for trading the market or just money, okay, which is, I have a passion for both things actually, then this may be for you because the trades I do are quick and fast. And um, again, it's, it's very convenient right now because everybody is at home. So even if you had a normal job and you're working from home now, you can learn this and do it from home and perhaps transition into a different career. So if you've been thinking about doing this, you can change your life today by learning how to trade the U.S. stock market. And it's funny because a lot of my friends don't know what I do. And they're asking me, what are you doing now, this market? I said, you know what? I teach people how to short. And, and that's what's very interesting. Many, many people do not know how to short the market properly. And a lot of people didn't even know that you can short. Now, some of you here may already be traders, but if you're not, you can short stocks. What do I mean? It's almost like you're, you're I don't want to say betting, but you're, you're predicting that the stock is going to drop in price and you can make money. If you look at it, you say, okay, stock is at $50. I can see it's going to drop to $49. You can make a buck, a dollar times the amount of share quantity you'd have and make money betting or shorting or taking a trade to the downside, even though the price is dropping. And pretty much the entire month of March, the market fell and tons and tons of things fell. And we're coming into a very interesting part here at the end of April. But you can go long, you can go short the market. The key is to what stock are you going to do? Um, and you can make money in the market. People do it all the time. The problem is that not everybody does. And I think if you've been in this, I don't know what you want to call it, genre or whatever, for a long, long time and you've been failing and you haven't been successful, it starts to really get into your head if you don't know what you're doing and you start to think you can't do it. But the fact is you can. Probably what you're doing isn't right, isn't working, doesn't work, and will never work. So you have to change what you're doing. And you have to be honest with yourself and say, this thing that I'm doing, this strategy I'm using to try to make money in the market isn't working. And you have to give it up. And right now, a lot of traders are getting killed this year in 2020 because the market has been very volatile. And that's not going to change anytime soon, the volatility. But volatility is good if you're an active trader, if you know what to trade, okay? Any questions so far? I've seen some people sign in here late. But I am taping this. Anyways, you have to overcome obstacles if you want to get ahead. And right now, in today's world, a lot of people are, are overcoming a lot of obstacles. I mean, look at the world. Look at what's happening with COVID-19. People are overcoming obstacles every day to continue to push forward. And not only that, stay healthy. And you need to have that same kind of mindset with your trading. So even if you've been unsuccessful in the past, I say don't give up. You can do this, you can become successful, you have to get serious about it. And a big part of that is learning what to do 
it's a huge part of it because if you don't know what to do, it's gonna be really hard for you to risk money, whether it's a dollar or a thousand dollars, okay? Because the only way you make money trading is to risk money. And when you take risk, I call it conviction, but you, you almost wanna have like 100% conviction that the trade's gonna work because in your mind, you wanna know that the trade's gonna work so that you can profit so you're not wasting your bullets. Your bullets is your money, okay? The money that you have in your trading account. But learning from someone is important. Obviously, there's a cost for me to come and take my class and learn from me, but it's the information and my time that you're paying for and the mentoring. And I do a really good job of mentoring people. I have many videos on YouTube, which I've done reviews with traders, but it is how you can really get good. At this point now, I still have the time to take, uh, to talk to people, to email people, okay? But you can learn how to do it if you want to through the process. So let's talk about Boeing. Uh, Kange is asking, how do I know what stock to short? Well, well, let's just look at a chart right here. This is a chart of Boeing. We shorted this today. So what do I do in the morning? I get up in the morning and I rate stocks that are gapping. And I rate them based on a 26 point rating system. You would learn that system in my class, which is this weekend, May 2nd and 3rd, if you wanna sign up. But it is a process that I go through, which is a checklist and a worksheet that I use daily. I use it for longs and shorts, quite frankly, but I do prefer to short, and we shorted Boeing today, okay? So how do I know which one to short? Because I rate it on the daily chart. Here is a daily chart of Boeing. Now, for those of you that don't know what a gap is, this is a very basic, I'll show you. A gap is a difference between the close and the open. So this is whatever given day here, the, this Boeing, this could be anything though, okay? Closed at a set price and opened at a different price the next day. This is a gap down. Closed here and open at a different price, lower. So this closed here, this gap down. This closed here, this gapped up, okay? So in this case here, we have a gap up. Here was a gap down. You can do gap ups, you can do gap downs. Here was another gap down, closed here, open here, closed here, gapped up, closed here, gapped down, okay, closed here, gapped up, fell. This is Boeing back in March. So I prepare each morning in the pre-market, determining and deciding what to trade in that very early morning period before the open. And that's why I'm ready to go into the open, okay? Now this was a put, again here, see the time that I call in the pre-market in Boeing, 8.53. The market doesn't open till 9.30. You can't take options trades until the open, but I sent this out to everyone in the options letter for them to take the Boeing strikes, 100 strike expiring 4.9. I sent this on April 1st. Now let's go back. I'm going way back on this day. This closed here, this gap down. I saw this would drop. It fell, boom, boom. It was a profitable trade. Cost was so cheap, $1.30. 60 contracts cost 1,700 bucks, sold at 350. This didn't go anywhere near 100. You don't have to get it through the strike to make money. The momentum was in because of the gap and it fell two days down and you could have made $13,200. In basically 24 hours, this did not get to 100, but it fell into the number because of the momentum. Okay, again, this is a short, so we bought a put and it was going down, okay? So therefore, again, you can see there, take it, get out. You take it, get out. When you're trading, you have to book profits. It's income. You're generating income when you trade. It's in, out, in, out, in, out. You're not holding this for their months and weeks and years. This isn't investing, okay? I don't have it up here now, 
But if you go to my YouTube, it's the Stock Swish on YouTube, you can see today's video for the room. I posted it. And we shorted this on today as a day trade. And we were in quickly and we were out quickly. Okay? You have to book money consistently. Consistently over and over. Especially if you want to make $20,000 a month. And especially if you want to do this for a living. Okay? You have to book profits. Any questions here so far? This was a very nice note from a student. He's been a student for a while, since 2019. Uh, and uh, this is Howard. He's been, he's been having a hard time, obviously, with COVID-19. And he's been making money with the trades. So it's, it's really interesting because if you're in a position right now where you're not doing well with things with life, if you know how to trade, you can make money. And you don't need anyone's help except for to learn what to do. So you take the class, you learn what to do, you can do it on your own. You can be in the training room with me, you can do it on your own. You don't have to work for a company. So many people have gotten laid off. And a lot of people have filed unemployment, but a lot of times unemployment doesn't actually uh, cover your expenses. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, if you, have, if you have comments or questions, you can write it in the room. Anyways, he did great. He made almost a thousand bucks and he's not doing a lot of contracts. He does one, two, three, maybe five. He doesn't do a lot of contracts. So again, you don't have to do 60 contracts, okay? This was really cheap though. You could do one, you could do two. You could do whatever you can afford. You can trade my system using a small account or a large account, okay? Anyways, here was another one. This was Bank of America. Bank of America was last week. I think it was last week, yeah, or two weeks ago. I don't remember what day it is now. Every day is running together. This closed here, this gap down, open, fell. See that in there? The stock fell. So April 15th, in the morning again, 8 a.m., I called the pet, I saw it would drop, I rated the gap, I predicted it in the morning in the pre-market, an hour and a half before the open. I called the 23 strikes, and again, I'm gonna go back here. This was the day I called it, it fell, boom, into the next day. Take it, get out, okay? Now this is an option. This was very cheap too, it cost $1.20. 70 contracts, was a risk of 8,400, sold at two. Very nice profit, 5,600, okay? And again, it was a put, it was a short. We took it, you get out, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, any questions? Now there is a trader here, Zen Trader. I wanted to show examples of someone risking a lot and someone risking a small amount. Howard's taking a couple contracts. Like I said, one, two, three, four, maybe five. Zen Trader is taking a lot of contracts. She's doing very, very well. She's made over $104,000 since the beginning of the year. She's you know, averaging between 20, 50,000 a week, depending on how the weeks go. She's made a lot of money. She's risking a larger amount. So the only thing that you have stopping you from making more is having the account size to take the trades and having the consistency that you're taking positive trades. I'm calling really solid, good quality trades. No, every trade I call isn't working. Some trades are losers, but I have more winners than losers and the winners win big. So therefore the winners not only are more often, but they also cover than the losers. If I call 10 trades, you have to figure two will lose and around eight will be winners, okay? And if you're in the live trading room with me, I will call the exits in the room. And if anyone wants a trial to the room this week, email me at, at melissa at the stock I will give you a free trial to the end of the week as well. Anyways, it's really about the system. I mean, the, 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 the success or failure of what you do has to do with the quality of the system. But again, whether you risk a small amount or a big amount, it should be neither here nor there because if you risk a small amount today and learn what to do, in one week, one month, six months from now, you could be at the point where you could be like Zen Trader and you could be risking more, but you have to grow the size of your account. And not only that, you're learning all the time. So if you're making a couple hundred dollars a day and you're learning and you're getting better, you can see very easily how you'll be making a couple thousand very quickly once you know what to do, okay? One of the reasons I'm so good at this because I've been doing this for 12 years. I haven't done anything else but this. And, and, and I know it's not a long time necessarily to trade, although it's not a small time. 
I've been doing nothing but gaps and mainly focusing on shorting. So I've become an expert in shorting, okay? So how do you become successful as a day trader? You have to have a system, a system and a strategy that's reliable and consistent. Profits consistently. Take it, get out. Take it, get out. Take it, book the money, okay? Very, very important. And when something doesn't work, it doesn't work, okay? That's why we use stops, okay? That also helps to condense your losses too. You have a fixed amount in the stop. And any questions, write it in the room, okay? Anyways, it's really about a niche. The niche is the system, okay? And I developed it a very long time ago now, and, 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 it, and I don't do anything else. So all of these people here that I'm talking about that are students with the testimonials, they've done my class. Um, I've helped them on the side when they've needed it. Um, and they're all coming along in their own time frame because everybody comes from a different background. Some people come to me, they don't know anything at all about the market. Some people have some experience before. Some people have small accounts and some people have big. But the, the, the yearning, the, the, the desire for learning and understanding it, listening to me, listening to what I'm saying in the room every day really helps, okay? But my method is based on reading institutional money that moves stocks and gaps. And Boeing is a great example because Boeing is getting sold off by institutional money. It's not getting bought, okay? That's why the shorts we've done in that have worked, like today. But how do I do it? I use a rating system. It's a 26-point checklist. I rate the gap every morning. Bank of America, Boeing, whatever it happens to be. Everybody okay? Any questions so far? Okay. Quiet group tonight. Anyways, my particular gap, my, uh, my particular niche is gaps but it's mostly looking for the big institutional money. Gaps are created with large institutional money. That's what makes the gap. The professional gaps that happen to play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap, long or short, and then confirm that the large money will flow with it. So basically, when I'm looking for something, I wanna see if it's being sold off. I wanna see if it's being bought. So then I either go long or short or do a call or a put, depending if we're doing an option or a day trade. But I use the formula to qualify and rate the gap. Okay, that's how I get the conviction and then I play it with the institutional money on that directional bias. Again, if it's an option, it could be day or two. If it's a day trade, I'm in and out quickly. Some trades go into the afternoon. I prefer to be in and out though in the morning. But every once in a while, we will go over two examples here today that are trades that were later in the day in this kind of market you you really almost don't even know until the morning what's going to happen like i could look at something tonight and i say oh this looks great and then i could get up in the morning and completely change my mind because again it's a volatile market that's why it's so critical to see what's happening right away pre-market before the open but gaps are an event and they create a sense of urgency that's an action that's being forced by participants of the stock this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading golden gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because we're trading on the side of power money, okay? And that's what moves stocks. That's what moves the market. Now, this, I didn't have this chart in here. I can pull up my chart to show you. For those of you that don't know CVX, it's Chevron, <clears throat> okay? So oil price, prices have been crazy lately. This was a really nice trade that went Called it on Monday, April 20th. Called the 83 puts late in the day. This was late, 2.45 in the afternoon. Cost was 2.20, sold it the next day, 4.85. Gap down in the morning, it was a really nice call. 35 contracts was a $7,700 risk. Profit, 9,275. So this fell. So we took this in the afternoon and then it gapped down in the morning, fell the very next day. That's great when that happens too. Again, this is an option. But it's using the same system. And sometimes I'm predicting the morning gap. And the ones I call in the afternoon, late, I'm predicting the gap for the next day. Here was another one, though, in the pre-market. Google, I called, again, puts 1260. This I called on Monday the 20th. This was last week. These were not cheap. So like one of these would have cost $2,000. Google, Amazon, but they can really go. Sold at 47, profit 10,800, a beautiful trade. Again, 
drop and rock and roll, sell off. Okay. And this is another testimonial from Dan. Dan just did the class in April. And two days after the class, he made $25,000. So my class is $69.99. My class is seven grand. He made 25 grand two days after the class. So he was very, very, very happy. Okay, so a lot of times I get this question, how long does it take for me to make my money back? How long am I gonna get it? That's, I don't know how many trades I'm gonna call the week after the class. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do three or four or 50. I don't know. And I also don't know how much money you're gonna risk per trade. Okay, the bottom line is, if you decide you want to come and take my class and learn from me, you're going to learn something, one, that works, and two, you can make money over time because you can't risk your whole account if you have $2,000 in an account in one trade. So, and I don't know how many trades I'm even going to do tomorrow. I don't know. I never know until I get up in the morning, okay? But rest assured, people are doing very, very well with me. Again, I spent a lot of time with people. Dan's a great example, though, because he literally just did the class and then had a very big first week. That was the class in April. So the class in May is this coming weekend, May 2nd and 3rd. But the reason that my system works is because it makes sense. It's something I can explain to like a bum on the street. You go long buying. You short selling. You take trades with the directional bias of the momentum. You take trades with the money. That makes sense. A lot of traders want to do all these tricky things and use all these things, Fibonacci's and all these kinds of different systems and they put all this stuff on their charts and it looks like a planetary solar system. And they can't even see the price. They can't even see the candle. They can't even see what's going on. My charts are very, very, very clean. Okay, as I showed you with the one that I that I showed you. So it's, it's about making good choices. It's using quality trades, good common sense, and I do call the trades live in the room. So if you're in the room with me, I call the trade live, give you the stop, and then we take it and I call the exit. Any questions here so far? So how do you make money in the market? Have to trade a profitable system. How do I pick which stocks to trade? I rate each gap in the morning that I see is gapping using a 26 point rating system. Then I take the gap in the direction of the gap. I mostly shorts because I find that selling shorts shorting the moves happen fast much much faster than longs and personally I prefer to make money fast than wait for it so for me I like the shorts because selling happens quickly selling happens it's panic panic selling that's what you're shorting when you short any questions here so far so if you're thinking about making this amount, 20 grand a month, you have to risk an average of between $500 and $1,000 a trade, okay? That's per trade. Now, sometimes we do more than one trade a day, but mostly we do one a day. Like today, we only did Boeing. And, you know, I might do two or more, but it's preferred if I just do one great trade and we're done in the, in the morning and we're just completely done. But you have to have a plan of action. You have to have a good system. You have to have good entries. You can't overtrade. Like I said, we did Boeing today and that was it. And then you chunk it out. It's not about trading all day long to try to get a, you know, make as much as you can and be a pig. That, that doesn't get you anywhere. The market will take your profits from the morning if you make them quickly, if you continue to overtrade. So if you're paying your bills with this or you want to reach a certain goals, once the market gives you the cash and the money that you have, boom, boom. You take it and you're done. Actually, I'll pull up Boeing here. Hold on. Because I didn't have time to put this in. <laughs> and I will show you today's quick one. Did everybody say? This is the market. I need to go in up. Go back to today. There. So this is what we did today. This is the daily. Let me pull up the one minute.
So here's what we did today. We like did it right in here around 128 fall for planet. Again, some people got out in here, some people got out in here. The stock moved down $4. We shorted it, got the drop. Took it, got out. We were done way before 10 o'clock today. That's what I look for every day. It was very fast and very quick and getting back to what I was talking to you about, about selling, okay, and shorting. You can see how this is fast, boom. See, I like that, I love that. Now we didn't do Amazon today, but I did see that Amazon sold off today. I don't think this sold off fast, but let's look. No, it didn't really. This, this took a good hour, two hours in here. But Boeing was quick. Okay, getting back. Any questions so far? This is another nice testimonial. This was a different day. Zen Trader. Um, yeah, she's been doing really, really well. She's in the room every day and doing the options. So again, it's a checklist. So what do I do? How do I know which stock? I go through the check points. It's 26 points, so just go. Check, check, check. And I go through the points. And that's what tells me. If it rates 20 points or more, I take it in the direction of the gap. If it doesn't, then I don't do it at all. If it's a 17, 18, 19, it's 50, 50 chance of working or failing, and so I don't do this. So I'm looking for a high rating, 20 points or more. That's how I get the consistency, okay? And also, I have a lot of confidence in what, in what I do. That's one of the reasons I'm able to talk on radio and television, on national TV, because I understand what I'm looking at when I look at the charts. This is all technical analysis. It's every, every one of you can pull up a chart and look at the exact same thing as me, but you don't know what to look for. And that's what you learn from me. I know what to look for. That's how I'm making the predictions. That's how I can see that Boeing today is going to fall. The target today was 125. It went more than a dollar through it. So how did I know that? Because again, I rated the gap. This was another put. Puts and puts and puts. This was Apple, called this on the 20th, 277.50, expired 424. Beautiful, beautiful short. Cost of Apple, we shorted this last week. $5, sold it for 12.75. This is a really nice sell-off move. 11,625. Again, risk was 7,500. But what if you took one contract? Could have risked $500, and you still could have made a good amount of money. Could have made 700 plus. So again, you could take one contract. And again, we're doing equity trades and we're doing options, okay? This is the Q's. We shorted the Q's. This was all last Monday. And everything just rolled right on over, like rolling down a hill. It was a nice start to last week. Cost was 320, sold at 890. 25 contracts cost eight grand. Again, one contract would have cost you $320. You still would have made a good amount of money this is more than 100% turnaround. That's really, really good. That's what you want to do, okay? So if you're risking 500, you're looking to make 500. If you're risking 1,000, you're looking to make 1,000. Here you risk 8,000, you could have made 14,000 plus. That is a good solid trade, people, okay? Because again, you have to profit, you have to get ahead, and you've gotta cover the 20% of the trades that are losses, okay? It's the consistency by taking as many quality trades, quality, quality, quality. Any questions here so far? So for me, it's, it's, it's the morning. It's that, it's that period of time in the morning that I get up and I analyze everything and I'm looking at everything and I'm, I'm figuring it all out. And then I do use stuffs. We talk about this in the class too. I do call out in the trading room. If you want to do a trial this week, I tell you where to put the stop, okay? I said it I said in the room today to put the stop in Boeing, okay? When you're trading, you have to have a fixed amount that you risk per trade, and you have to win more than you lose. Otherwise, you won't make it. And we don't trade all day. We're done usually in the morning. If I call a trade and I say, this is gonna take all day, I still close out the room. Everybody's already in the trade, it's already up. We're just holding it to a bigger target, okay? But everything I do, 
is based on the 26 point rating system. That's my system. That's what you come and learn from me. And I do it for options. I do it for day trades. It doesn't matter. I do it when I read the market and I'm predicting market direction, all of it. Okay. But you know, it's, it's, it's quality based. I mean, it's, a lot of people say, well, I'm not, I'm not disciplined. I, 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 I didn't do the right thing. No, you probably don't know how to pick the right stocks to trade each day. And you probably are doing them in the wrong direction. Again, if you talk to, the, uh, to a bum on the street, you know, it's, you have to go long stuff that's strong and you have to short stuff that's weak. It's quality, it's not quantity. The only person that makes a lot of money when you over trade is, is the broker if they're still charging commissions. Some brokers are not charging commissions right now. Some are. But if you're taking 50 trades a day, on in and out, in and out, in and out, scalping, that's insane. It's, it's, it's just too much stress and pressure. It's so much easier to take a trade and get out or take an option trade one day and get out the next. Okay? And some days you may have to take a day off. Some days there aren't things to do. But right now, it's earnings season. There's a lot of nice trades, a lot of beautiful trades to do every day. We'll get something every day this week. It's a busy season. There's a lot of things reporting this week. Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon. Market's going to move this week. Okay? Now, as far as, again, what you should be risking, you're looking to make one-to-one. -one. So sometimes I call a trade. If I say 50 by a dollar, that's a 50-cent stop. How many shares do you take? It depends on the dollar amount you risk. Your dollar amount should be the same or, or equal or close to equal in each trade. <laughs> you can use different amounts for options than for day trades. Okay, so a good risk to reward is one to one. Some trades go more than one to one. Some of the options have been 200 or 300 percent return on investment. That's great. That's fabulous. But your expectation with each trade should be one to one. Okay. Anyways, this is another good Dan day Dan had. Dan was new. But think about it. This was a, an old movie now. Gosh, it was in the 80s, the movie Wall Street. You know something ahead of time. It's like insider information. I don't, I don't, I don't have any insider information, but I can read ahead of time what's going to happen in a stock in the chart. And actually, I called Boeing lower in December of 2019. We shorted that stock all along the way in 2020. We've been right on it. And I saw that in 2019. So the longer that you do something, the better you get at it. I don't know if any of you are golfers. My father's a very, very good golfer. He's been golfing for a long, long time. He golfs all the time. I don't know if he's going to get to golf a lot this summer because of what's happening. But when the courses open up, he'll go out and golf again. But he golfs all the time. So he's good. I do nothing but gaps every day. So I'm good at it. So you see the difference. The more you do something, the best you can possibly be. When you're all over the place with different strategies and systems, how do you ever get good at it? Uh, Kange, I can pull it up at the end then if we have time, and I'll go over it for you. Anyways, making money trading is about consistent and correct trade selection. Making money trading is about correct trade selection. It's about getting the directional bias right consistently to know what direction to take the trade. Trading successfully means focusing on taking trades with institutions. Again, institutional money. Being on the side of institutions increases your odds to make profits because institutions make stock trends and they move the market. Institutions move stocks either up or down and nothing else. Big, big money. And if you want to get paid, then the key is to be with the trade with the large directional moves. You must be with the power of money because you, you alone, retail traders don't move stocks, at least not for any length of time. So the rating system, the 26 points, tells me that it is getting bought or sold by institutional money. That's the, that's the genius of the system. The rating system is a checklist. Again, it's on the daily chart. The checklist tells you what to look for in the price of the stock and how to read the direction correctly, okay? Do I have a system to warn me? No, why do I need a warning? Why would I need that? I just pull up a scanner. I can go through everything myself. What do you mean a warning? You wouldn't need a warning. <laughs> you can get up at 5 a.m. and start looking for gaps. You have all up until 9.30 a.m. Why would you need a warning? I wouldn't roll out of bed at 9.15 and start trading at 9.30. 
<coughs> you can find gaps anywhere. You can buy a scanner. You can find them anywhere. Free, that's not hard. Qualifying them, that's what many people don't know how to do. Finding gaps isn't hard. Qualifying them, that's the genius in what you learned from me. But the points tell you where the money is flowing. Why does this matter? So you know what direction to take the position to profit. So again, what do you need to make trading work? Number one, a strategy. Again, for me, it's gaps. This was a trade from last week. It was the market. It's a QQQ. This was this 421. This is squished, but it's the one minute chart. Market closed here, gap down, open, rally, boom. You could have shorted it, got the drop. Could have taken more here, got the drop. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trade. Another fantastic Melissa call. We shorted it here, and you could have held it all the way down. This is one of the trades that you could have held longer than 10 o'clock. You could have got out here quickly, but I knew this was going to rock and roll, and this did go to the dream target. So entry was 209, stop was 209.90, 90 cents. It was a great stop for the market. 3,000 shares, risk was 2,700, exit 204. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trade. So again, that took till lunchtime, right into lunch. <laughs> a little longer than we normally trade, but well worth it. Now, what else do you need to be successful? Number two, a method and structure to enter and exit the picks. So I, again, give the entry, stop, okay, and then call out the live exit, or if I close out the room and it's a later trade, I will give you the targets. For this one here, again, it just fell off a cliff. The entry in this was 282. Oh no, this is the wrong chart here. No, this is the wrong chart for the market. Sorry. No, this was a different trade completely. Hold on. That was a different day we shorted the market. Hold on. My assistant did this webinar. It's not the right chart. I'll find it. Let me know that you can see the chart. Can everybody see? See it there 282. Can you see this now? So we shorted this here at 282, and the, and like literally, this fell off a cliff. I mean, this is one of these examples. I tried to squish it so you could see one minute, two minute, three minute, four. I mean, I I I, I called the the entry 282 actually way before it hit, like 40 minutes before it hit 282. And then it hit and it went, it went like, a, look at this, it went like hotcakes. And again, this is, this looks a lot like the Boeing, except for this was around lunch, like the Boeing today when it fell off a cliff. So I'm very good with numbers and that's how I'm calling the entries. And again, you'll learn this in the class, but this nosedive. <laughs> now, if you, if you didn't immediately get out here, I mean, you had time to get out here into two o'clock. But that was another beautiful sell-off. And again, just goes to my point about how quickly, how quickly you can make money shorting. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, my, my allergies are bothering me with the pollen and yet <laughs> we're not going outside. I didn't go over any moving averages here. This is a very basic, basic charts. Was it hard to get filled in that trade? No, no, it wasn't. The market has tons and tons of volume. And even if you 
didn't get filled exactly at 282, like if you weren't right on top of your keyboard and it hit fast, even if you didn't get it, wouldn't have even mattered. If you got filled 30 cents past it, who cares? Look at what it did. It just dro it dropped down through $3. I don't tell people to chase, chase entries, but I mean, you can't, you can't nickel and dime this stuff, I guess, is, is my point. Anyways, this was not the right chart in here, but it was the it was the same move. Anyways, it, it, it this just fell like crazy. It was a great exit too, seventeen thousand six hundred. So I showed you the right chart. This was the wrong chart for that particular day. But beautiful day, and it was the twenty third. <clears throat> Anyways, number three, you have to have monetary goals. The monetary goals per day, per week, per trade. Goals should be based on a risk unit, which you should use, and you should not move off of that risk unit until, I'd say, per quarter. One quarter, two quarter, three quarters, four quarters. There's four quarterly earning seasons in the year, and you have to set your risk and follow it through the earning season. Like right now, it's second quarter earning season. Like I said, it's going to be a busy week. So set your risk per trade. You do well. You can up it third quarter, okay? But the consistency has to be with your risk per trade because if you risk, if you take two trades and risk $1,000 in one and $2,000 in the other, the $1,000 trade works, you, make a, you risk 1000 make 1000 the $2,000 trade that you risk loses, then guess what? You have one trade that works and one trade that didn't work and you're still down. So that's why you have to have the same amount of risk per trade. Follow me? That's how you have consistent results too. But for me, it's the reliability in the gap system. I stick to one thing. I only do one thing. And I'm saying, you know, this about the amount of money because I think people lose over so many years and they just start to, like, they keep trading. I don't know why. They think that they can't make any money, but yet they keep trading anyways. And they think it's impossible to make 20 grand a month. People are making 20 grand a day with me. People are making 20 grand in one train. That guy made 25 grand two days after the class. So don't tell me that you can't do it. You can do it, but you got to know what to do. I mean, the guy took the trades I called, so he, he did well. That's what everyone on here is testimonial is doing. They're taking the trades, okay? So if you want to learn, I can teach you how to do it. But my God, if you're going to take crappy trades, and if you have no idea what you're doing, of course you're going to lose. I mean, that's like, again, common sense. I'm very deliberate in the choices that I make. I'm very deliberate when I call something. There's no wavering with me. I'm not like, well, maybe it's a long, maybe it's a short. No, I don't, I'm not like that at all. I'm very deliberate. I either have 100% conviction or I have no conviction, okay? And I use the system. That's how I call the trades. That's how I run the run. That's how I call the options. You have to have the proper education if you want to do well. And I do offer my time as a mentor to help people. And again, that's one of the reasons people are doing very well. I see how people are trying and they want to learn. And, 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 I, and I'm motivated by people's own personal motivation. I want to help people do well. It helps the business when people are doing well. One, I'm using the testimonials. And two, people tell their friends and their family. And, 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 it, and it really makes you feel good, especially in this kind of time right now. Like I use Howard's testimonial. Howard applied for the, for the economic disaster recovery. He didn't get the money. I don't know if he's gotten it yet with the new refunding of the bill, but you know, trading is a way right now for people to make money. If you have an account, you could afford to pay for my class, you can join. I'm offering the trading room free to the end of 2020 with the class this weekend. That deal expires Friday, and that's a huge amount of time in the room to get all my calls for free in the room. And and people can trade their home. You know, you have to have the money for the class, and you have to have the money to trade. But you'd need that anyways in normal times. And people have time now to learn. And, and I think that's, that's important, okay? So, but you've got to have a system that works over and over. And you can come up with a, a financial plan, a trading plan to do it. So the class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course teaches what direction to play the stock. It also teaches you how to play the stock on the live day and take the entries and exits. The class teaches you how to read institutional positioning stocks. And the Golden Gap course teaches you how to day trade gaps. Yes, you can use this for options. That's how I call it all the options trades, JD. I only do one thing. Like I said, this is it. You can learn the nuts and bolts of it this weekend. But the money comes easy when you know what to do. 
And you don't even have to take a lot of size. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. That's a nice thing. I mean, if you had to make a thousand, Jackie made a thousand dollars today in the Boeing trade, fell off a cliff. She doesn't take a lot of size, a couple hundred shares. So you can have good risk reward with quality trades. It's a function of how much you risk for the share quantity. You have to be consistent. Again, that's part of it, which you learn in the class and then following me also in the room. So if you wanna do this, you have to have a plan of action. Whenever I do something, I have a plan of action. I'm gonna do this, this, this. Just like if you're gonna you say, okay, now we're in quarantine. I had to get a new plan of action for my exercise routine. I'm a member of a gym, they're closed right now. Actually a member of two gyms, <coughs> and they're both closed. Is that okay, now what am I gonna do? I have to get a plan of action for how, exercising. What time now am I gonna get up in the morning? Now I'm on a different schedule, okay? I make it look very simple. It is simple for me. I've been doing this a long time. It is simple for me. For you, you're new. You'll have to learn it. For me, it is simple. If there's no gap, I do no trades. It's simple for me because all I do is rate the gap. If the rating's there, I do it. If it's not there, I don't do it. I don't argue with it. I don't force it. I don't squish it. I don't try to make it good if it's not good. It's, it's, it's either there or it's not there. That's what the rating system tells you. The, do you understand? This is the importance of having a system. It's not like you talk yourself into it. If the gap rates 20 points, then we're doing it. If the gap rates 15 points, we aren't doing it. There's no thinking involved. Like I'm either doing it or I'm not doing it. And it's based on the worksheet. It's based on the rating. That's it. The system doesn't work for you, okay? Makes sense? And that's the benefit of being in the room. So I only trade Goldman Gaps the rate according to the 26 point rating system. So I have a high rate of success in my directional bias. And I get the best entry I can with precision early in the morning to get good risk reward trades. Again, my goal is one, sometimes we get more. And then you do have to create a money management plan. And that will help you achieve your goals, whether they're large or small, according to the size of account that you have. But I'm looking for a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Big moves. Told you I like the big moves. Told you I like the shorts. Told you I like morning trading. And then precise entries with follow through and a good risk reward. That follow through could be into the next day. Okay, like the Boeing puts. Or the follow through could be in one day, like the Boeing day trade today in the short. Could be in five minutes. So follow through has different meanings to me depending on how we're trading it. Just so you know. I talk about this in the room. But the Golden Gap system is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. That is the simple part. The, the part that's not simple to you is you don't know what to look for until you do the class, okay? And then I explain it in the class. You learn it in the class. We go through charts. The class is 16 hours. It's charts, 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 Okay? Like if you're inside my brain and you could read my mind, you know what I'm seeing, but you don't know because you're not in my brain, okay? Like I can see what Boeing is going to do before it does it. How, how do I know that? It's in my brain. That's, that's what learning is all about. That's the difference between learning, knowing. It's a knowing. I know certain things. How? Because I've learned them, because I've done this, because I can, I can see it in the chart. That's what reading price action is. That's the, that's, the, that's the skill. It's a skill. You say, well, how does this person do, I don't know, play an instrument? How are they so good that they can play the piano like that? Because they've been playing piano for 25 years, and they're really, really good at playing it. And they don't have to look at any music. They don't need any music. They don't have to look at their hands. They can just do it. They're that good. <clears throat> that's just one example. It could be sports. But this checklist tells you what to train, when, and in what direction. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock. So one strategy is all you need to be successful in the market. And you can use it in different ways. Options, swing trades, day trades, whatever you want to do. Okay, any questions? But you don't need a general overall broad-based view to make money. I mean, you don't have to read all kinds of earnings reports. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You don't have to watch the news, okay? You don't have to read any books. You don't have to buy any special software. 
You have a trading account at any broker. You take the class, you do it. You gotta have charts, okay? And you learn how to read institutional money and price patterns and gaps, and then you don't need to do anything else. And over time, you will get better. And the key is really to making money. So the class is this weekend, May 2nd and 3rd, 9 to 5 Eastern time. Cost of the class is $69.99 US dollars. If you want to sign up, you must email me for the forms. They are not on the website. You can go to the website, www.thestockswish.com, and see all of the products and services I offer. If you want a trial for the room this week, email me. You can have one for the rest of the week. And Kathy, can you put my website in the room? Now, um, I am offering, like I said, through Friday, if you sign up, the trading room free to the end of the year. It's normally $500 a month after the class. You must take this class to be a room member. But this is a good deal because it's the rest of 2020. Remember, it's only April. I use the daily chart to rate the gap. I trade on the one minute. So different charts for different things we're doing, whether it's the entry or the rating. Now, someone had asked about Boeing before we're done here. If anyone has any other questions, let me know. Today's daily, let's look at what this is doing here tonight quickly. Oh, it's had a pop. Now it's selling off. Let me look at the market. is flat. Uh, the dude that asked the question, Kange, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name right. I apologize if I'm not. Here's Boeing. This is neutral. This is a neutral gap that I predicted would fall and follow through from Friday, I was right, and it did. So you can trade gaps of any kind. It doesn't have to be some huge gap. Could be a baby gap. This opened neutral, it fell. And that's it, and we did it. See it? Kenge, I'm talking to you. So that was a nice read. And to be honest with you, someone asked about some days there was no trades. There wasn't really anything to do today. There were things today that were up that I knew would fall. There were things that were up that I didn't think would follow through higher. This was a very sloppy day. We looked for very specific things. We might have not done anything today. Luckily, this was there. We did it. But honestly, it was a weird day for earnings. Typically, Mondays are the slowest days to trade. There's a million things out tonight and tomorrow. But overall, I was happy we had this because there was bupkis today to do, really. Um, so we're lucky we got that one. Any questions from anyone about anything else at all? Very interesting time to trade. And, and it's been a very, very, very active year. As far as the options newsletter, that's a separate subscription. If you sign up for that, you don't have to do the class to sign up for that. It's not a prerequisite, but you're not going to learn the system. And the class is this weekend, and it's a good time to join because I'm offering the trading room to the end of the year, and it's also earnings season, so there's many, many days we're going to have a lot of trades. This market has been very tricky for people, longs and shorts. You have to be very focused on what you're doing, and I do think it's critical right now to have a mentor, someone you can follow, because you can get in your head very easily if you get on the wrong side of something, whatever stock or whatever you happen to trade, ETFs or whatever, and you can really chop yourself up in your trading account. Like I said, you want to take quality, quality, quality trades. It's, it's, it's important to do that in this time. And I don't think any of you that would come and sign up for the class would regret it. I'm very good at what I do. Some of you know that you've been following me a long time. I appreciate everyone coming. Here's my email. Right in, in the room. Do, do, do. If you want a trial, email me. If you want to sign up for the class, email me. Deadline for the special is Friday. Big week this week for earnings and for the market because all the things I talked about will have an effect on the market. Amazon, Google, all of them. So watch for those earnings this week, people, and be very careful if you trade.
Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Stay safe wherever you are. You're welcome.